The union cabinet has approved three semiconductor factories for 1.2 lakh crore. Will this make India into a chip-making superpower? Now joining me to discuss this is Anurag Avasti, Vice President of the Semiconductor Association of India. Colonel Avasti, welcome to the News 9 Plus Thank show. Thank you, Sandeep. How big is this uh, announcement by the government of India? It's the biggest leap of this country on a leap day. <laughs> oh, right. 29th. Yeah. 29th, I, I, I 29th guess. 29th of February. It's yes. a leap day. So right. what a great leap. Yeah. And you know, I, it's, it's actually transformational, right. so to say, because this, the, you know, announcement comes with these three fabs, which yes. come, you know, one in Dholera, right. one in Moringao in uh, Assam, right. and another one in Sanan. Yeah. I think they will be the game changers. Now right. look at the astute policy making, yes. look at the leadership at the highest level of our Honorable Prime Minister, right. look at the industry's resolve, yes. look at the, you know, uh, absolutely amazing policies which have come into place, right. and you know, look at the timeline. Yes. The Micron announcement came in June 2023. Right. Within eight months, you have three more which yes. have come through. And there are so many other proposals in the pipeline. Right. So it's not decoupling from China or, you know, it is technology or it is politics. It's right. just the prowess of this country. Prowess of this country, yeah. Which is now just taking shape so beautifully. Absolutely. In fact, uh, Union IT Minister Ashwini Vaishnav was at, with us at the News 9 Global Summit and he told us that we're designing the most complex semiconductor chip in the world. Let's listen into what he had to say. There's a great human story to all the manufacturing and the employment it generates, sir. But uh, are we moving on track? What I wanted to arrive at Absolutely was, are we, we are moving, moving on, on track to compete with the level of manufacturing that we are seeing which require to process artificial intelligence? Will we be in time to compete with the likes of NVIDIA or Huawei to draw the next phase of growth for India's electronics? Absolutely. Some of the most complex semiconductor chips are designed in India. Mr. Most complex. The biggest semiconductor design talent is in India. One third of the total semiconductor talent is in India. We have tied up with 104 universities ever since we launched the India Semiconductor Mission. We have changed the entire course curriculum. There are now semiconductor focused BTEC programs, MTEC programs, PhD programs, clean room training programs. So there is absolutely a clear path towards India becoming the semiconductor capital of the world in the coming years. Nothing can stop it. Anurag, Ashwini Vaishnav said that India could become the semiconductor capital of the world. How long will it take us to get there, given the fact that we've just begun with the chip making factory? See, I would answer this question to you in a very, very, you know, pragmatic manner. Just look at the vision at the top level. You yes. know, there, is, there are two ways uh, insofar as the, the polity, the bureaucracy and yeah. the industry looks at things. Right. There are people who know technology yeah. and there are people who understand technology. Right. Now look at Honorable Minister for IT, uh, Shri Ashwini Vaishnavji, yes. or you look at you know, Shri Rajiv Chandrasekhar yes. ji. Both of them are technology they're, specialists. They're technocrats. Exactly. They're technocrats. Absolutely. I mean, they know and they understand technology. Yes. Having said that, just look at the timelines. Right. The Press Information Bureau uh, is communicate very clearly states, yes. 100 days right. after the announcement, Right. the action will begin. Right. So while a fab may take three to four years to yeah. come up, or a, you know, a ATMP unit may take a little time to come up, right. but the way we are going, I think it should be a reality within two to three years. Two to three years. So that, that is what as uh, early as that. my sense says. Right. That and is what my sense and says. And of course, we're, we're just starting out on this in this game. You know, and I was just uh, looking at th this announcement and uh, looking at how we kind of began manufacturing cars in India, the new cars with the Maruti 800, if you remember, in 83. Correct. Would you liken this to our Maruti 800 moment, what it was for the automotive sector? Would this be for uh, semiconductors? It could be. See, you know, these are things, technology is, is all pervasive yes. at the end of the day. You know, you can't say how it spins out. Right. When Maruti 800 came into being, yeah. look at the Indian, you know, trajectory on the automotive or the automobile yes. sector. It was nothing. Today, right. Look at Maruti's market share, it yep. still remains the highest. The highest over 40%. Over 40%. Yeah. Look at the same story on Texas Instruments. Yes. They came sometime in the mid-80s. Yes. 
you know, and there's this famous picture of theirs right. getting a couple of machines back into Bangalore. Right. Who would have, you know, thought that India will be the home to 21% designers of the world? Absolutely. You're the yeah. design capital of the world. And now just look at this. You have the design prowess. Yeah. Your fabs will come up. Your ATMPs will yes. come up. Right. Along with that, you have the skill development index. There's a right. massive change in this course curriculum. Right. The industry is always stronger. Right. The R&D will take place. Yes. I think all your, all your bases are covered. The ecosystem comes up. Ecosystem comes up. But ecosystems, as you know, you're a military man yourself and you've spent time in the defense ministry. And, uh, you, you know, the ecosystem, creating the ecosystem takes years, decades even. So, are, are we safe to assume that it's going to be at least a decade before we can be competitive with the kind of uh, micro, you know, the 5nm chips that we're talking, we're not even there yet, right? So, uh, we, let's, you know, it's, it, why, why should you get into the nanometer paradigm yeah. at this juncture? Right. You know, you have to cater for your own markets. Yes. Your market is automobile market. Your right. market is defense and aerospace. Right. Your market is, you know, various other markets like wearables, yes. which is there. And yeah. they are just growing by the dozen. Right. And you know, at the end of the day, the Indians have the basic advantage of the demographic dividend. Yes. You have 1.5 million engineers coming out right. every year. Right. right. And along with the demographic dividend, there are yes. aspirations. Right. So aspirations control the market. Absolutely. But, so but uh, you know, uh, Anurag, now that the government has already, uh, you know, uh, started work on these factories, and they've said 100 days and all that. What are the next steps they must actually take to realize this thing of becoming self-sufficient in semiconductors? I Give would us five steps. Five steps, you know, I would say, you know, uh, since the, the timeline is very clearly decided, yeah. we should look at monitoring, right. we should look at uh, industry connect, we should look at skilling. Right. I think skilling for the entire world, you yes. can be the talent powerhouse of the world. Right. And skilling across the board, Sandeep, I feel yes. is going to be the Achilles heel of all the countries in the right. world. Right. Right. And then you look at infrastructure and then you look at connectivity. Right. So the moment that happens, which is already happening, I mean, you see Dholera, you, right. you see Sanand. Yes. I mean, the same thing will happen now in Assam. Right. I think you, you've got it sorted. You've got right. it all done up. Right. No, and, and you know, given the fact that again, now the challenges, the fact that manufacturing has taken a hit in the last couple of years and the only kind of recovering over there and building up our manufacturing prowess, you think that is going to impact uh, this thing when it comes to fabs? Not really. I, I uh, you know, I have a lot of uh, faith and trust in the resilience of this country and the quality right. of the uh, the Indian brain, so to say. Yes. Uh, you know, uh, we started uh, uh, in the uh, services sector yes. for a very long time for a simple reason that it was it started off as a low hanging fruit. Yes. And the second thing is, if you go very historically, you were devoid of the you know industrial revolution and all right. of that. Right. I will I'll not go into the historical reasons yes. and so on and so forth. But at the end of the day, since you've started manufacturing now, and there's that astute policy push from the government, right. you know, then I think it's going to be a dream into reality. And a lot of people, you know, say, uh, you know, uh, there's an old African saying, which I right. always follow. Yes. Tell a lion learns to write, every right. story will glorify the hunter. Right. So the lion knew how to write. Yes. Well, the lion has started writing. The lion has started writing. Interesting there. And I, I see Ashokan lions uh, there, Anurag, as you spoke. But uh, it's such a delight to speak with you. Thanks very much. And, you know, India finally on the route to being a chip superpower. Of course, we are years away from that, given the fact that we've just begun. But uh, as they say, well begun is half done. Half done. Thank you very much, uh, Anurag, for your Absolutely thoughts. Absolutely. A pleasure being with you. Streaming on News 9 Plus. News is now content. Subscribe and get free vouchers.